All right, glad you're here. It's Friday. You might be wondering, why am I in this car? Well, here's what I can tell you. Bella had 102 fever this week. Do us a favor, list down in the comments some well wishes for Bella. I'm here at the pharmacy to pick up some medicine and help get that temperature down to where it's supposed to be. Temperature, frame rates, they're kind of the same. Let's talk about it, but first, let's get out of this car. Welcome back to our video. Today, we're gonna to talk about frame rates, when to use them, and how to use them. If you're new to our channel, make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our videos. Make sure you click that bell icon down below. So now let's talk about frame rates. So a big debate has gone on between whether 24 or 30 frames is actually the right frame rate to be shooting. And now some people are shooting actually in 60 frames per second. Let me tell you this, it all depends on what video you're trying to record. So if you're looking to film something that's cinematic, 24 frames a second is what you want to be shooting. If you want to shoot some that looks a little bit more like television, then you want to be shooting in 30 frames a second. Really picking your frame rate is really all going to depend on what kind of motion blur you're looking to get. I'm shooting in 24 frames a second right now. So right now the motion blur with a shutter speed of 48 looks very natural. It's something that your eye normally picks up. Shooting at 30 frames a second, will sometimes give you a little bit more of that smoother look. And sometimes your eye will just think that it's watching like television. Recently, many people have started shooting in 60 frames per second, which is commonly used in most video games. I'm here to tell you that 60 frames a second and 120 frames a second are actually to be used for slow motion. As you can see here, some of these clips are shot with 60 frames per second and others are shot with 120 frames per second. So using my standard timeline of 24 frames per second, a 60 frame per second clip is 250 times faster. So when you play a 60 frame per second in this 24 frame sequence, what you'll see is that it's 250 times faster than the 24 frames per second. When you shoot at 120 frames per second, now you're shooting at 500% faster than 20 frames per second. So what does it all mean? Basically what it means is, is if you wanna do slow motion, what you wanna do is you wanna be recording in either 60 or 120 frames per second. And then what you can do in post is slow those down to either 24 or 30, depending on what type of sequence you are building. Coming up in upcoming videos, we'll talk about how to actually do things like speed ramping, how to effectively create these slow motions. So coming up in upcoming videos, we'll talk more about that. So 24 frames a second is more cinematic. 30 frames is more like television. Or you can do what Peter Jackson did in The Hobbits and go ahead and make it 48 frames per second, which is twice as fast as the normal 24 frames per second. The downside with that though, is that a lot of people didn't accept it because it didn't look as real. 24 frames a second gives you a real cinematic look. And that's what most movie companies are shooting their movies at. And like I said, 30 frames a second is what most television shows are framed at. But recently I've seen a lot of people on YouTube starting to experiment with 60 frames per second. And that's great. YouTube allows that. A lot of times when you're uploading those video games, 60 frames a second is what you want to record it at and what you want to upload it at. And the reason why is because that's typically the frame rate that the game is being produced at. So to summarize, 24 frames a second is for more of a cinematic look. 
30 frames per second is more of a television look. 60 frames is usually what video games and animated shows are at. And then 120 frames will help get that slow motion. So what's the correct answer? 24 or 30 frames a second or 60? It really depends on your preference. So I prefer to shoot in 24 frames per second. I think it gives it the best look. It helps with the color grading. Allows more of a cinematic look. So that's what I'm going for. So 24 frames a second is what I tend to shoot when I'm doing talking or live action or anything that you want to show as real life scenario. 30 frames, it gets a little bit smoother. And in 60 frames, use that for the video games. Or, or if your camera shoots in 60 frames per second, you can use that for slow motion. If you're looking for a camera that does do 60 and 120 frames per second, click the link right up here and you can see the review that I did on the Sony AX53 camcorder. So, there you have it, the Friday in 5. If you like this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up. If you're new to our channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and make sure you click that bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming videos. Until next time, my name is Brian and I'm with Three Princess Productions and we'll see you in the next one. Bye!